The brush tool in 3DCode's Retopology workspace is relatively straightforward and simple, yet you'll probably find yourself using it perhaps more than any other tool in the entire workspace because this is a freeform tweaking tool which allows you to not only tweak the position of local areas of your mesh, but also as a relax brush whenever you hold down the shift key. If your mesh dips beneath the surface of the voxel object, that can present problems, obviously. And in that case, here at the very top of the interface under Auto Snap, by default, this is checked. But if you uncheck that, you can then use your brush to pull the problematic part of the mesh back out above the surface of the voxel object. Okay, and you can also use this tool for localized snapping. What I mean by that is sometimes you may retopologize your object, have to go back and make some sculpting edits. And when you do, you can use this brush to sort of massage or finesse the retopo mesh back into place so it fits the underlying voxel object. You do have some tools in the sculpt room whenever you're using large scale editing tools like move, transform, and pose those tools have a checkbox here at the top, conform retopo mesh. And when you make these large scale edits, 3D Coat will keep your retopo mesh snapped to the underlying voxel surface as best as it can anyway. So yeah, you use that tool, but whenever you are brushing or you're sculpting, that option is not available. So if you have to go back and make some sculpting edits with your brush uh, in the sculpt room, then this is the tool you probably want to go back to when you're done to kind of, again, massage the retopo mesh back into place. There's one last thing I want to cover, and that is working on open areas like this, where you have an opening in the surface Keep bounds while smoothing is checked by default. And if I hold the shift key and smooth, it'll smooth inside the mesh, but along the border it will not. If you uncheck that, then you can go back and 3D Coat will smooth even the borders if you like. And so this is a good example of where your mesh might dip beneath the surface. So I need to leave auto snap unchecked. And there are other tools that you can use if this does not work quite as well as you need it. Okay, let me scale up your brush. Okay, I think we're close enough. So auto snap. And I can hold the shift key. And now it's going to snap while smoothing. If you want to just snap, and no smoothing, you don't want to accidentally move the mesh at all, you can hold the shift key, right click and drag your cursor until it's flat. And now when you click, 3D Coat is not going to move this mesh with your brush, it's only going to snap beneath the surface of the brush. So that's very handy in some circumstances. Okay, so yeah, that's a quick look at using the brush tool in 3D Coats Retopology Workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.